As we celebrate our 125th anniversary as Catholic Mission in Accra, I think this Easter is an exceptional one. Our theme for the 125th anniversary is renewing our commitment to evangelization. You see, which means we want to renew our commitment and start a greater work of evangelization in the Archdiocese of Accra. Currently, the Archdiocese of Accra extends throughout the whole of the greater Accra region and a little bit of the North and South Tong political district. The number of people in the region are about 4 million. The number of Catholics in the region are about 400,000. 10%. So we need to bring the message of the Catholic faith to many, many more people. So our aim and our focus is to renew ourselves in our commitment for evangelization. And especially, I have gone around the Temabato Deanery, I have gone to the Medina Deanery, I have come here to the Kpehe Deanery. I'm very happy to see so many of our people here, especially the children and the youth. My message is, let us concentrate on making sure that our young people remain committed Catholics. They remain in the Catholic faith and are able to carry the message of Jesus Christ on. What is the message of Easter? Go teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And lo, I am with you till the end of time. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 to 20. And so all of us in the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra, we have a duty and a responsibility. As we celebrate our 125th anniversary, to be renewed in our Catholic faith and in our commitment for evangelization. Each one must let your light shine. We have just finished Easter. The message that comes out of Easter is so beautiful. I like to use Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, where Jesus says, the Son of Man has come, not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. If you look at Holy Thursday, Jesus Christ served us by washing the feet of his disciples, by giving us the Holy Eucharist. And what did he say? You call me Lord and Master, and that is what I am. I, who am Lord and Master, if I have washed your feet, you must wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. Do the same. So all of us Christians are called upon to give humble service in our homes, in our places of work, in our country, wherever we find ourselves, we must give humble service. Then on Good Friday, we celebrated Jesus giving his life as a ransom for many. He died for us on the cross. And therefore, he wants us to do the same. We must be ready to give our lives in ransom for many. On Holy Saturday night and Easter Sunday, we celebrated his victory over death, his victory you know, the resurrection. And therefore, we are being told, if we will follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ, if we will be humble like he was, washing the feet of his disciples, serving our brothers and our sisters in selflessness, if we will be ready to lay down our lives as a ransom for many by self-sacrificing love and service, then we shall also rise to new life. So I wish everybody a happy Easter. Let us rise to new life. Let us be humble. Let us be selfless in our service. Let us be self-sacrificing. And like Mary Magdalene, let us go out and tell the people, God has told us Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.